Now at 10, a city leader in the lockup and under investigation by the Department of Justice. A Kenosha alderman was arrested during a raid at his home this morning. Tonight, he's jailed in Racine. Tom Durian broke this story this afternoon. He is live in Kenosha with new details about what's behind the arrest. Tom. Well, Charles and Shannon, the city of Kenosha has remained really tight lipped about the arrest of the alderman, G. John Ruffalo, and they have been quiet tonight. We might hear something tomorrow, but we're also learning tonight that mostly likely this arrest had something to do with stalking. Neighbors told me off camera that they saw several Kenosha County Sheriff's vehicles for a couple of hours this morning here at Ruffalo's home in an affluent Kenosha neighborhood. We're told deputies were seen carrying out computers and other evidence before placing Ruffalo in the back of a squad car and taking him away. The Wisconsin Department of Justice confirms they are investigating Ruffalo, citing a conflict of interest as the reason the Kenosha District Attorney isn't handling the case. They won't, however, reveal the nature of the investigation. A Search of Racine County jail records where Ruffalo is being held shows he is being held on potential stalking charges without bail. Now, a spokesperson for the GOJ says that Ruffalo will make his first court appearance in a Kenosha courtroom tomorrow. That's where we should learn really more about what this arrest is all about with a criminal complaint that should really spell out the charges against him. Our calls to the Kenosha mayor were not returned tonight. We're live in Kenosha. Tom Durian, today's TMJ4.